What's up? Hey everybody, Dan Hicks 11 coming at you here. Haven't made a video in like a month, so I figured I'd come out here and make one. Just a few updates, you know. This is a new addition to my collection. A little weed eater 22 inch. It's got car problems, but it, it runs great. But if you like hit something and it stops all of a sudden it'll like backfire for a few seconds and then catch back up it's weird and that's one update and another thing we don't have a pull anymore that's gone we're gonna get a new one there's the old car just chilling getting ready to go for a ride trailer go-kart not done <laughs> still sitting trailer Jack, that mower and the other mower, that tire still needs a tube in it, haven't got that yet, uh, the stacks are still sitting, haven't done anything with the muffler, it's just a nice big mess, and in here, got my bike, I got cable running out here, see that wire, oh, hold on a sec, see that wire right there, it runs all the way up, over, back down, into that room, Comes all the way in here and powers that TV. And, uh, watch TV out here. Still haven't rebuilt the motor yet. Still haven't welded that onto the frame. Have no welding wire. I've got one cutting wheel left. And the other cutting tool actually broke. You know, I have nothing to do. So that's why I haven't made a video. But I figured if I'm going to make a video... I might as well make it about something. So, we'll show you the Troy Built and the Murray. Troy Built. Kind of a uh, half ass little muffler deal going on there. <laughs> Stupid. Carb runs good. Needs a pull start or a battery or something. It sucks to start. You have to jump it every time. And I should probably raise the front end so it cuts level. It doesn't cut very level with that 2 inch lift in the back. As you can see, it's very up high in the rear. But that's good. It makes it a good mud mower. And with the go-kart. Still needs tie rods. No steering whatsoever. Motor runs though. Needs a new chain and a new tube for the drive tire. And we'll walk around front here real quick and uh, come up here on the Murray. Good old tracker. Tractor. Yeah. Runs good. I don't know if we could take it for a ride or not. Everything still works. I drove it yesterday and the left front tire locked up would not turn for some reason but it turns now I couldn't get it off it was stuck on there so we'll uh, roll this down the road there and start it up real quick alright get her down here let's uh, turn it on and uh, make sure the choke is pulled It's always a hard process. And we'll jump on and see if she'll crank. I gotta fix that hood. It's really loose. Anyways, here we go. Well, it ain't gonna start like that. To resort to extreme measures. Pull cord. That always works. Let's see if we can open this hood without it completely falling off. There we go. As you can see, it's only held on by one bolt right now. The other one came out. Right, let's uh. Wrap this pull cord up. 
A little rusty. Hmm. It's weird. Alright. I got a new one in that toolbox. I don't know if you saw that. That's for when this one finally rips. Because I know it's getting ready to. And, uh, it's always good to have a backup in case it does rip. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Every time. I had to turn the choke off. Put it in fifth gear. Yeah, you can tell my brakes aren't worth the shit. I'm holding the clutch in, and yet we're still moving. So yeah, as you can see, it runs great. See you later.